All right, I'm going to answer another viewer question, and the question this time is uh, how to access your computer when you're on the go. So let's say you go to work or, um, you know, your school or your friend's house, whatever. How do you access your computer at home uh, from there, okay? Um, so first thing you want to do is go to your router settings, and depending on what your router is, sometimes they have like a different uh, IP address to connect to it. So open up a web browser and you go to 192.168.1.1 and this one is for my router. Your router might be like .1.0.0.1. So just read up the manual if you need to know what it is. Um, but let's connect to it here. Um, It'll prompt you for a password if this is your first time. I already logged in earlier, so uh, there's no password for me, but for you, it might have that, all right? Uh, if you don't know your password, the default is usually admin, admin, and hopefully you change that, okay? Don't put the default crap. Um, anyways, I have a Asus RTN12 here, right? And depending what router you have or what brand, what model, uh, they have a different uh, UI for this, but uh, you know, all routers have a uh, web interface like this that you connect to. And in here, the settings again, it might be different for your router, but it should have. Uh, we're just gonna look at two settings. Uh, we're gonna do a DHCP reservation, and after that, we're gonna do uh, port forwarding. Okay, so the first thing is uh, for me, I'm gonna go to my lane tab here. And I click on this one says DHCP server but really what we're doing in here is DHCP reservation the reason why we want to do this is that if you're at your work or your school or your friend's house and you connect back home uh, you you know when you connect back home it doesn't really know which computer you want to go to because if you have a server you have a desktop you have a laptop a mobile phone something that at home uh, it doesn't fucking know uh, you know which way to go for that computer so we're gonna tell it exactly where to go uh, using uh, DHCP reservation it's kinda like if you go to a restaurant and you wanna reserve your table they're gonna have that table for you or they're gonna have a table for you uh, not exactly which table anyways uh, hopefully you understand that but what we're gonna do is uh, find the MAC address right the MAC address let me make this bigger if I could uh, there we go. So we're gonna find the MAC address of our device, and your device could be, you know, a laptop, uh, a mobile phone, uh, whatever device it is that is connected to your router, and your router gives it an IP. Um, if you need to figure it out, you can go. Let's see here. Uh, you can type in ifconfig if you're on uh, Linux, right? And this one will tell you. Okay, this is my MAC address. So I know that this for sure, this is my computer on my desktop. And the current uh, IP that it gives it here is, uh, was that 105 here, right? Uh, don't be concerned about that. You can change that in a minute here. But the uh, MAC address, just to confirm that this is our computer, right? When you click on this, sometimes it's helpful that it has the name of it. But oftentimes, it just gives you the MAC address. And we know that this one, the 4A, right, is, is this computer because it says 4A here, and you know that that's the one, and you click on that, and it'll give you the current uh, IP address that you're connected to. If you want to change it to something else, you can go like, okay, I don't want this to be 100, I can be 200, or something like that, and then you would add that sucker, and it'll always be that IP address when you boot up. Uh, even if you turn it on like 10 months from now, it'll always be that IP, right, because we already assigned it to our router. Um, so I did two of them here, this one is my desktop and it always ends in uh, 105. I always want it to be in 105 when uh, it starts up. And this one is for my um, server computer. And this one always ends in a uh, 100. And I know that's my server, right? And so you add that and you apply it. Uh, that's really all you gotta do for the ACP reservation. Next thing we're gonna do is, uh, what was that, we're gonna do port forwarding and I go into the Wayne here for white area network 
and again some of these settings might look different on your router but it should be in there if you don't have it you probably have a shitty router and i had a shitty router at uh, one time uh, i had no settings in this so i had to get a new one and this is my new one anyways the next thing we're going to do is uh port forwarding so you see here it sometimes says a uh, virtual server and then the port forwarding here right we click on that and the, the port forwarding is where the magic happens you know, this is where you uh, allow other computer to connect to a certain port. Uh, so when you're at work and you want to connect home, you always connect home to a certain port. Um, you don't want to open all ports. Okay, that's just stupid. But how do you do this here? Now, in my router here, they have some pre-selected one. If it's popular, like for example, if I was doing some games here, I'm give you games here, right? They give you a game list here. So you see, if I was playing Age of Empires, I would have to uh, open some ports here, all right? Uh, and this is usually because when you're connecting to other people, uh, or other players, I mean, or multiplayers, they have to be able to connect with your computer, I guess, and then they can talk to each other so you can play multiplayer. Um, so this is for the games list, and well, they have BitTorrent here. I don't know why they have that for games, but uh, Counter-Strike and so on and so forth. So you see that, you know, games have different ports that uh, would require. Sometimes it's for like uh, anti-cheating, like punk busters, that you would have to open certain ports because they don't want you to fucking cheat, right? But we're not doing games here. Uh, and they have this one for like applications, I guess, or maybe protocols, I am say. Uh, for example, if you're going to do like SMTP, you have to open port 25, right? And Telnet, port 23. If you're doing FTP, this is port 21, and so on and so forth. Now, this one, I don't know why it doesn't have uh, SSH, because the person's asking me for SSH, how to do that. So we're going to do it ourselves here, because they don't have one. So I used um, create one uh, yourself manually. So you do SSH, and the port for SSH is 22. And here, since we already have uh, the DHCP reservation, we know exactly which computer we wanted to send it to. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to send it to my server, I do is, uh, you know, 192.168.1.100. That's my server is always on. And even if I'm at work or school or whatever, I can remote back home and I know exactly which computer it goes to when I'm using SSH. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do port 22 here. And TCP is the protocol that we want to use for SSH. And then all you do is add the sucker, right? If you want to add some other, um, you know, other applications you use, like for example, I talked about the Python HTTP server uh, script that we talked about last time. I'll post you a video in the description if you want to refresh your memory on that. But we do like, uh, we'll call this one Python uh, HTTP server. And that one, I think we use port 8000. Right, and let's say for example we want to we don't want our server we want our desktop, so we use the 105 for our desktop, right? And yeah, open that port again, 8000, and I think we use TCP for that, I believe. Okay, hit uh, add, and so on and so forth. If you have other applications at a different port, so for example, if I was gonna use, um, I think I talked about Caliber also, right? Caliber. We'll call it web UI uh, server, whatever. And I think that port we used was 8500. And again, um, you have to pick which computer it was used. So I that one was on our desktop. So we do 105. And we'll do 8500 there. And, you know, if you, if you know the exact protocol for that, maybe it's UDP, maybe it's TCP, or maybe it's both, then you just add that sucker really not that hard and you apply it and that is it you know um, now how would you connect it uh, from your school to back home uh, is a little bit different from uh, normally how you connect it within your you know local network uh, what I mean by that is that you don't use these IPs because these IPs are only known by your router uh, at home okay uh, when you're at work or your friend's house, you want to use your external IP. This is your internal IP, and that's not what we want to use. So to find out your external IP, uh, just bust out your web browser, 
and go to Google or something and just type in what is my IP, right? And at the bottom here, they'll tell you your IP, and this is what you use to connect from over the internet, okay? So, for example, if normally when you do SSH, uh, give me an example, SSH, and then your username, right? That's my username, and then my uh, local uh, IP is 192.168.1.100. That's how I usually would connect to, uh, you know, my computer within my house. But if you're over the internet, you have to, you know, use your external IP. You go SSH. Uh, you do this one at work or at your friend's house or whatever. Okay. So you do, oh yeah, if I spell my own name right here. Uh, at, and then your real IP, your external IP. So that's the only difference. Instead of using your router IP, you use your real IP address. Uh, when you're connecting okay that's pretty much it now if you're using some other ones like we talked about what are the other one we talked about uh, this caliber one or the Python one those ones uh, use the web browser so all you gotta do is point your web browser for example this one here and all you gotta do is type in that IP address that we got from uh, Google whatever and type in the was that colon and then the port. So the port, if you want to connect to the other one, the Python is eight thousand, uh, right? If you're using the other one uh, for Caliber, for example, is uh, eighty five hundred, and you hit enter and it should connect home. Boom, you got that sucker. You know, over the internet, not that difficult. Um, anything else? Yeah, I think that's about it for that. You know, you, you set it up here. Make sure you apply it and all that. Um, yeah, that's it. And if, you know, if you have like a different, uh, or if you want to check your open ports, if it works or not, you can go to this site here. And this site will actually uh, look up your IP address here. And you just type in the port. Let's say if you open port 22, you type in 22 and you check it. I'm not sure you can check in here if it's open because we didn't really add it yet but you check it it'll tell you oh is this one is open or is not and there you go 22 it's open um, not really <laughs> this one is using a proxy because it's different from uh, my real IP address but anyways it'll say it's open or not open uh, and that's how you know if you open it properly okay um, next thing is since you if you want to figure it out like where exactly it is in your router because sometimes uh, you know there's different routers that confuses you you can always use this uh, website it's called portforward.com and you click on what is that free guys here free guy and let's see here okay now you go down and this one just hit the was that control F and you search for your brand of your router. So my router was Asus. So I just type in Asus. Uh, and you see here, right, this is the brand that I have. The next step is to figure out your model. Uh, just type in your model number. Let's see if it loads here. Okay, close out the ads here. Hurry the fuck up. Okay, so this part here is to find your model number of that brand. So our number was RT uh, N12 here, right? So I click on that. That's my model number for my router. Uh, for you, it might be different. Just you know, figure out your brand and your model number. And in here, this is all the applications that is common. Uh, so it can be games, it can be protocols like SSH and all that. So you hear this is uh, Age of Empire stuff. Uh, what is this other crap over here? some aliens versus predator so these are the ones that show you like uh, you know the ports that you need to open uh, if you don't know it already but let's say for example we go to SSH uh, enter uh, there you go SSH we find that sucker and here they walk you through how to get to that section so you just read up on it uh, most of these are in uh, Internet Explorer crap but uh, you know they give you a screenshot of this uh, what you need to do so for example it will tell you to click on you know wing here like we did uh, before and you click on virtual server slash port forwarding that we did before 
and in here they tell you to add uh, you know give it a name and the port and a local port and then uh, you know your local IP for um, that computer they left empty but you get the idea and that's how you add that sucker um, so that's how you figure it out if you don't know exactly where it is you know the router that you have uh, so that's another helpful tool if you don't really need that if you already know where the settings are at but uh, sometimes people need to use this for you know figure out the ports that they need to open anywho uh, after you add all that sucker just make sure you check if the ports are open or not and you're good to go uh, you're going to tell your friend to SSH to your machine to test it out if you want uh, or you can do it later you know while you're at uh, your school or whatever and you connect back home again you have to have you know whatever applications you have for a server like if you're using the um, caliber you have to have that on you have to turn that shit on if you're using the Python script uh, that I talked about you have to turn that shit on on that computer you're using same thing with SSH you have to turn on the SSH server uh, daemon so you can connect to it you know if it's offline you can't connect to that sucker anywho hopefully that makes sense all right and you can connect back home access your porn and you're good to go that'll be it for this one